Welcome back on this beautiful Monday morning. The unprecedented cyber attack we're talking about all morning. It's expected to spread today as workers log on across the world. Microsoft is not the only company with software vulnerabilities. Hollywood is also facing its own hacking issues this morning. And the FBI is giving some pretty surprising advice. Tracy Carrasco here with, those, with that detail. Tracy, good morning. Good morning, Maria. Now, Hollywood insiders say the advice they're getting pay hackers the ransom, which in some cases may be easier than trying to fight these cyber criminals. Hacking now one of the biggest threats companies are facing, as we're seeing, Netflix recently learned the consequences of not paying up. Hackers demanded roughly $60,000 or else content would be released. Netflix ignored the warning, and 10 episodes of the upcoming season of Orange is the New Black was posted online several weeks ahead of the series launch. Just last week, President Trump signed an executive executive order designed to improve the nation's cybersecurity. The executive order outlines three top priorities, protect federal networks, update old systems, and have all department and agency heads work together to better protect critical information. The order also highlights the problem of robot networks when networks of private computers are infected with malicious software and controlled as a group without the owner's knowledge. The president is asking the secretaries and agencies to report to one another and uh, keep all of the information contained. So they're saying keep, keep it contained, but it, it's not been contained. I mean, we were talking earlier about this massive global hack that's taken place over the weekend. Mm -hmm. Renault, ha it, it, it was forced to shut down factories. You know, President Trump ordered an emergency meeting uh, of the Homeland Security staff. Also, the senior security staff, FBI, NSA, met on Saturday uh, for another meeting. So they are, with this executive order, they want to review all the systems within 90 days, so this may come sooner with this latest cybersecurity attack. You wonder what the White House can do at this point. But, or but, uh, uh, Marie, in the last, what, year or two, we've, we've seen the Social Security Administration get hacked. Yeah. We've seen the VA get hacked. We've seen the IRS get hacked. Yeah. Right. Again, this is nothing new. Where, where's our government been in trying to create barriers to protect ourselves? Mm. You know, they've been trying the, with all of the pre previous administrations, but this is an issue that is ongoing and it's hard to get ahead of these hackers. Well, it's what is it interesting too because content is king for these Hollywood companies. Mm -hmm. When those episodes get released, that's millions and millions of dollars that just flood onto the internet mm -hmm. they can't do anything about. I think it's interesting the FBI is telling them to pay up. Do they say if you pay up, you will face less of a risk that these things are leaked? You know, these companies, they've got to weigh their options. So right. is it better to pay and you know with the hopes just of, cross their fingers with the hopes of maybe the content won't be released or do we take our chances ignore the warnings and see what happens well our top guest earlier we said you 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 have to pay the ransom and then you, you've got to pay it in bitcoin mm -hmm. i mean it's the oddest thing this story is yeah. just extraordinary right vanity fair pointed out too that hollywood's so interconnected so even if the even if netflix is hacked and they've protected their systems you have agents mm -hmm. you have talent uh, companies, you have actors who may have scripts. Mm. All of this stuff is so vulnerable, and it's such a small ecosystem. It sure is. Tracy, good stuff. Thanks so much. Tracy Carrasco there.